tonight from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Tyrod Taylor and the LA Chargers taking on Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. It's the newest stadium on the NFL landscape and it might just be the grandest as you get a look at SoFi Stadium here at Inglewood. Tonight we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Chargers. Jalen Richard now on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Jalen Richard on the return. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. And one of the things that I think that Derek Carr's really improved in doing since college, his ability to stay in the pocket, things swirling around him, find the right guy, and deliver the ball with accuracy. Derek Carr has great touch when he throws the football. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. And he takes this for three to the 29. Josh Jacobs, the ball carrier. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. A three-yard gain on the play brings up third down. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Shotgun now for Carr. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Michael Davis. Tyrod Taylor gets set to lead this Chargers offense as they take the field. His athleticism in college was never in question. In fact, many NFL scouts thought he might be better suited to play receiver, but always believed in himself, always wanted to be a quarterback, and continues to prove his worth at that position in the NFL. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. After the interception, here's Taylor on the screen. This is Eckler. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They'll contain him to just four, second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Throwing again on second down, Taylor. He'll get this to Eckler. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll lead here to a third down. Behind the line of scrimmage.
from the shotgun. It's Taylor. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. So on fourth down, on comes the Charger kicker, Michael Badgley. A 27-yard attempt. Badgley able to knock this one through. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. Chargers 3, Raiders nothing. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Long converted to field goal. Now he handles the kickoff duties. Here comes Richard on the return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Derek Carr and the Raiders set for their next possession. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up. You talk with GMs who are putting together a team. A lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And good pursuit yet again by the Chargers as they stuff him behind the line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. From the gun, it's Carr. He's got a man, it's Williams. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Las Vegas. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Play fake to Jacobs. 
Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. A loss of nine yards. And it's third down. After one on EA Sports. Chargers three. Raiders nothing. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Got an open man, it's Ruggs. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Deep for the Chargers, Desmond King. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. At their own 20 yards. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Taylor and the Chargers come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. He'll try and run it. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Second and nine now from the 21. the gun it's Taylor and this one incomplete too much contact to hold on to that one and it's third down as this old brain remembers when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender I know the ball's coming out high they expected it and got there and popped it free Complete pass on second down. That'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now Taylor to throw. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Fourth down and on is Ty Long to punt. Back deep for the Raiders, Jalen Richard. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Raiders will take over now first and ten. 
Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? <laughs> turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better, drive. The punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully points. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll set up to throw it. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. That catch good for only a couple. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. He's actually utilized more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. To throw again on second down. Carr, catch is made by Hunter Winfro. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. From the gun, Carr. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Car to throw again. He'll find Williams on the slant. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 29-yard line. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. First down, Raiders. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Carr gives to Rashard. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing our score. Chargers 26-yard line. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need, need to get the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Throwing his car on third down. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Raider first down, Carter Renfro. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Took nearly the entire first half, but a first red zone opportunity for him here. They have a first and 10 at the 18. And that's going to be incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Throwing again. Carr right back to Williams, and this time he's got him. And the Raiders are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Sets him up nicely, first and goal. It was a pickup of 14. A 
Again, they'll throw with Carr. That's going to be caught by Williams for a Raiders touchdown. Complete to number six. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Raiders have taken the lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Joe Reed returning. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 29. Yard. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. Allen has it, left side. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. First down, it's Taylor. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Taylor. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 26-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Throwing again, it's Taylor. And now he'll tuck it and run. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Operating from the gun. Taylor, that is caught at the seven-yard line. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Hunter Henry in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chargers are going to retake the lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. 
And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here comes Richard on the return. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. On the return, the Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee and that should do it for half number one. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys lead, though by only a field goal, still anybody's game, as we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. Here's Reed. Oh, good looking return set up here. Joe Reed on the return. The Chargers take over first and 10. And now comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. They run the option here on first and ten. And the Raiders have got him. Tyron Taylor. The decision that time was to keep it and not a great one. Once he got out right with the football, there was just nowhere to go. And I felt bad for his offensive line there because their job is to create creases, right? Create openings. But if those defenders keep their shoulders square to the line of scrimmage and refuse to be budged, that's the end result. No place for him to turn up field. No chance to gain any yardage.
They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Taylor escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. That's a game of eight. Makes it third and three. defense was hoping for an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind and we've gotten to know this team a little bit haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys telling the quarterback, don't worry we got you to start things off. You take it from there. It's Carr. Got his man. That's Tyrone Williams. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. This is Richard. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Jalen Richard. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Running is Jacobs. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Some good strong running right there, some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone.
Once again, it's Jacobs. Well, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. From the yard. Brings up fourth down. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Daniel Carlson on for the field goal. A 20-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So with less than a minute gone by here in this fourth quarter, the field goal there gets this thing back to even. And it's setting up for a fantastic finish, isn't it, partner? It's been a well-played game, a hard-hitting game. The fans are into it. The announcers are into it. This is going to be a great fourth quarter. Ten apiece as the kicks away. Here's Reed returning. And the penalty markers down in the field. And yeah, they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Taylor and the Chargers come up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Operating from the gun. Taylor. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Nick Krakowski. And it's a huge return as he brings us all the way back down to the 15-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. They'll find his running back here, Richard. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr, throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The reception good for 7. It's third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. The Raiders on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five.
from the gun. Carr. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. So a big one coming now for Daniel Carlson. This to break our fourth quarter time. 26 yards is now. Carlson able to put this one through. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. Raiders 13, Chargers 10. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Reed. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own. Here's the Los Angeles yard. offense as they get set to take possession. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Taylor and the Chargers come up first and 10 at their own 26. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender. I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Taylor. Out to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier in this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have something about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. This throw incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Taylor incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. to throw again. Taylor being chased out left. And now he's going to use his legs. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can. And that's what he's done very well in this game. separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth.
So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Taylor. And no, it's incomplete. They're going for it with such little time remaining. And the Raider D, they get the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs, and he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll keep it on the ground. Jacobs. And he stopped immediately there. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for him, May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. And they take a knee. Second and 11 now. They run it with Jacobs. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Car down to a knee, and that ought to just about do it.
So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.